ました。Good morning, and thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. Thank you all for joining me. Today, I am going to be using the Encircled in Nature bundle, which is one of the online exclusives. And you can order that by going online, clicking on my link, or contacting me. And we're going to also see a new product uh, and the in colors coming in May. So before we get started, just a reminder, you can get that Grab Your Coffee, Grab Your Tea mug and other stamping mug and apparel by going to stampersdelightshop.com. I will also be announcing my April online fun fold class uh, over the weekend, so be sure to look for that. Let me get this a little straighter. Let's see. Oh, wrong way. Oh. Okay. So here is the stamp set encircled in nature and the dies. And I have a great fun fold to show you today. And I'm also going to show you the same fun fold when we're done with a new um, stamp set coming out in May. So let's see, let's get started. Also, just as a reminder, I do have my celebration going on. So there's a list below of um, celebration items and other items, new product, when I say new, I mean not used, that you can get by simply placing an order with me of $50 or more. And it's while supplies last, and this is the last week. So you wanna get those orders in and then let me know what you want so that I can send that out to you once you place your order. Okay, so Encircled in Nature, I'm gonna bring in, and again, the PDF will be on my newsletter, so you have time to sign up for that. I will send that out later today. And um, the dimensions and everything will be there. So this is our paper trimmer. I am gonna bring this down just a little bit more so you can see it. And I am gonna start with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. And I am gonna cut that at three and three quarters by 12. Okay, just might have moved that just a hair. So that's three and three quarters by 12. Again, everything will be on my blog and my newsletter later today. I'm gonna open up that arm and the arm is great because it um, cuts or scores larger pieces. So I don't like the way that one came out. There's a little glitch there. So let's just do that again. Okay, three and three quarters, and that is by 12. <clears throat> I'm gonna score that at four inches. And then I'm going to score it at eight inches. Or you could have flipped it around and did it at four, but four and eight. I'm going to fold that over, get my, whoops, sorry about that. Get my bone folder and give that a good burnishing. Just want to get that really done well. This didn't seem to, oh, there we go. Really want to get that to close. Okay. Then I'm going to take another piece of this design. Uh, this, this is wild wheat. And I am going to cut that at four and a quarter. So let's do that by five and a half. So let's do the five and a half first. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do four and a quarter. Again, this is wild wheat. I have other samples to show you, plus the same fold with one of our new products. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna grab a piece of white, which is four by five and a quarter. And I am gonna glue that down looking for, I, I redid my desk here, so it was a little neater. So I have to remember where I 
reorganized everything. I'm going to go ahead and take my stamp and seal. Don't forget to share my videos. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. And if you're following me on Facebook um, or follow me on Facebook, I'm going to give away. I don't know what I'm going to give away today. At the end, I'll, I'll pull something out and I will give it away to anybody who comments either on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, U.S. only. So if I pick your name and you're not in the U.S., unfortunately, I can't send that to you. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take a piece of, again, a piece of this cardstock. And I am going to cut whoop, the white. I want the white. I need a piece of one by four and a quarter. Let's make that four and a quarter. Okay. And then I need a strip of designer series paper, which is three and three quarters. And I'm going to do it by four and an eighth. So just a little bit bigger or smaller. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. This is the Poetic Expressions designer series paper. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down on this. Actually, I'm going to take that off. Back up. I'm going to change this. I want a different color on here. I want the... See, I change my mind as I'm doing my videos. We're going to put that right there. I do want the wild wheat. So I'm going to do this at one inch. And we'll do four and a quarter. I apologize that uh, this is a recorded video, not live. I was having some issues with my internet. We all know how that goes. And I didn't want it to go out on me in the middle of my card. So I decided to just hop on and record the video, which happens sometimes. This is going to go right here. And I am going to bring in my dimensionals. So better to be safe than sorry, and that's why I decided to record this. But still, comment, share, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I am going to add this right here. Now you notice I'm leaving a little bit of space so I can see that white. This piece is going to go right here. I could have done this 4x4, four four, but then I wouldn't have that little white edge. That's why I did it at 3 and 3 quarters. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Funny story, I was at backstage, on stage in Houston, and that's when this came to me. <laughs> I'm going to add that right here. And on stage was wonderful. Had a great time. My product premiere order will be here next week, and then I will do an unboxing of what I ordered. Normally, I do the two-day shipping, which has gotten quite expensive, but I still do it. This time, I didn't. I chose to order more product instead. I'm just going to line that back up. There we go. Okay, so now you see what the fun fold is. It pulls out this way. We're going to put that aside for a minute. I'm going to bring in some other designer series paper. Now, this is all from the Poetic Expressions. I have a piece of white, which is three and a half by three and three quarters. That's going to get layered right here. And then the designer series paper is three and a quarter by three and a half. That's going to get layered right there. So let's go ahead and do that first. I like to have a border showing especially when it's a darker cardstock, it shows up better. Add that one right there. Then I have the different one. So this is all the poetic expressions and I am going to add that to this piece.
pattern can go either way. That's why I like using this. And that one's going to get glued down right here. That one's going to go right in there. Okay, now I need one more piece for here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that. And again, that is going to be three and three quarters. So three and a half. And that's going to go inside there. I'm going to wait and do that piece. I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to do some die cutting. And I'm going to be using my small die cutting machine. I do have to cut this so it fits in just because it's easier to handle when I'm recording or live. So this will fit right in there. Let me bring in those dies. And again, here are the dies to this. This is so great. So this is the stamp set or bundle that I will be using for my fun fold class for um, April. It's a little there snug, but I can get that in there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there. And we're gonna line that up and we're gonna cut that out. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this off. Oh, I broke it. This is very intricate and very gentle. Uh, you got to be very gentle with it. I could actually piece that back together, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do it again. What did I tell you? It's live. <laughs> Let's do this one more time. Trust me, it does come out nice. Okay, let's do this again. This is our gold distressed paper. And I think the reason is I usually go back and it cuts it out even better. But I'm going to use that piece. I'm not going to let it go to waste. I'm going to take my take your pick tool. Let me just pull that out. Gently. Again, so this will be the set that I'm using for my Fun Fold um, online class in April. I'm going to bring in some liquid glue, and I'm using the glue press from my Sweet Petunia. That link is also below because I'm a messy glue person. I never get it where I want it, and I get it all over me, so this has been a godsend. But also because I have arthritis in my hands, and you don't have to press that that hard to get it out. So I'm just putting... Let me show you this. So this is my glue press. And it comes with uh, one filled with glue and one refill. And you can add your Tombow. So you can order the Tombow and then just refill those. I'm going to go ahead and glue that right down there. I'm going to put that aside, that aside. Let's grab another piece of white. I'm going to grab my Memento. This is, I just re-inked this, so I'm going to make sure I get a good image. A lot of people ask me, with a glass mat, do you still have to use your um, paper piercing mat? I do recommend that. Um, if you don't know how much pressure to add, you do want to use that. I got it down pretty well, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> There's my two flowers. I'm now going to bring in my blends, and I am using a bubble bath. So I'm going to grab the dark bubble bath and just go around the 
inside of my flowers. Same thing with these two. See those dark spots? That's where I put my dark. And again, I start with the dark, then add the light, and then I add more dark if I want to. There's no right or wrong way how to use your blends. A lot of people start with the light, then shade. It's just a matter of preference, however you want to do it. Don't forget if you um, case my fun fold and post it to social media, con uh, tag me, Stamper's Delight, and I would love to see what you've done with this. I'm going to go ahead and add all the dark in there because this is really light. Okay. I'm going to go in with the light now. And I'm going to use the painter edge and I'm going to blend that up. If any of you are in my area, there is a ladies' night in Pleasant Valley, New York today, or tonight, from 7 to 10 at the Pleasant Valley Firehouse. Should be a great night. Vendors, food, all kinds of things going on there. So if you're in the area, stop by. I'll be there also. I'm just going to add some light to these little flowers here. Who doesn't need a ladies' night out? I'm then going to grab my old olive and just add a little dark in there. And then go back with the light. I'm using the bullet or nubby end as I call it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my die. And I'm gonna cut these out. Again, I'm gonna use, let's close that up before I get it all over my hands. I'm just gonna cut this so that it fits in my machine. And again, I'll use that for something else. I'm going to put that down and grab the die. And you can use a post-it note or washi tape, anything to hold it in place. I'm going to try this new thing I got, and it is post-it note tape. See, I haven't even opened it yet, so let's see how this works. Okay. Maybe I'm not going to because I don't even know how it opens. I haven't played with this yet see where the end is. So I got this on Amazon. There we go. Let's see if it works. It is sticky. Did I see that? So this is post-it note. Labeling and cover up. I wanted to try this. I've used regular post-it notes. I've used washi tape. This is just something different. And I like to try different things. Maybe I'll do a video on that. Trying different supplies or items with your dies. Here's my one piece. Now I'm just going to lift that off. Oh, I, I like this. It's not, it's just the right amount of sticky. I'm going to take that off for a second. Put that right there. back in bringing down the front of my card I'm going to add those right here again I am going to use post-it notes 
I'm not going to post it notes. <laughs> oh, too early. I need more coffee. Grab your coffee. Hmm. Okay. Dimensionals. Can't live without our dimensionals. And again, I have other samples to show you. When I'm done, I'm going to add that one right here. I'll add that one right there. I am then going to bring in this piece. And I am going to grab You Mean So Much to Me. Now, because it's such a light color, I'm going to use the wild wheat rather than the bubble bath. Wild wheat looks like gold to me. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and stamp that. Taking my scissors here, I'm going to cut that out. So I am just going to fussy cut that. This edge. I'm going to put that right in the middle again with dimensionals. I think one will do it. Okay. I'm going to open that up and stamp on this one. And this one is May. Let's say, may this year be incredible and filled with possibilities. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that down. I'm going to grab one of the other stamps, which is like a, it's curvy. So I like that for the corner. I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And that's going to go right here. So you can see how it's starting to come together. My triple fun fold pull out card, I guess I'll call it. <laughs> All right, so now I want to decorate something like this in here. And I have this. So let's just play with this and see how I can do this. I can actually still use that by gluing it down right there. Or I can cut this, which is what I'm going to do right here. And I'm going to add it on the sides here. So I'm going to go ahead again and put some glue here. So obviously this wasn't planned because I didn't know I was going to mess this guy up. I'm going to add that right there. And then let's see. Do I want this one in there? Push that up a little bit. You know, I think I'm going to use him over here. I'm going to leave that right there. And I am going to, let's see. You mean so much to me. May this year be incredible and filled with possibilities. So it, it's kind of like a generic um, sentiment. And I am going to use it as a thank you for somebody. So let me grab a strip here. Do a huge thank you. Did I get it straight? Not even close. <laughs> okay. Line it up on my glass studio mat. I have not heard yet if these or when these are going to be available for purchase. I'm going to grab that like that. I'm going to add that right there. I was going to put this over here, but now that I look at it, I think I'm going to add it right here, but bumped up a little bit. So I'm going to try something here. Let's see if it's going to work. I guess this is sort of like a card on the fly that you all like so much because I didn't really have it planned. Yeah, I'm going to put that right over there. 
And you can see I'm just gluing that down like that. Holding it for a second. And now it's over the words. What do you think? I'm going to bring in some gems. And what I'm actually going to do is show you some new product here. I have 2024 to 2026 in colors. And of course, this is the petal pink, but I think it goes really nice with that. Before I do that, let's add a bow. This is in the annual catalog, the Trio Ribbon. Absolutely love this. You get the lemon lolly, you get the bubble bath, and you get the uh, azure afternoon. We're going to cut a piece right here. Get that bow the way I want it. Now, I can go off the paper a little bit, but I'm going to decide where I want that. I think I'm going to put it right there. So let's just do that. And then I can trim it if I have to. I can put that right over there. It's okay if it goes over. I don't want it over too much on this side, though. So let's just trim that. All right, now I'm going to bring in those in colors, and even though it's petal pink, so these will be in the new catalog in May. If you don't have a demonstrator and you've never ordered from me before, I do send one free catalog. And then once you start placing orders with me, you will continue to get all the catalogs as they come out Oops. free of charge. So here we have the different colors. I am going to grab this one. And I am going to add some of those little gems here. I should be using my other take your pick tool with the putty end, but I think that's over on my other table. So we'll just go with this. I have several of these and this way I don't have to keep switching, but for you, you get, you know, you get the take your pick tool and then you get the added pieces and oh my God, I don't know what I did without before this. Let's just go down here. Okay. So there's the card and there's the pullout. And I think I'll even add a couple of little gems here. So again, this is, uh, the gems are in the new catalog coming out in May. And we'll just add one here and one here. This is my triple pull out fun fold card because there's three panels. Not hard, but look how nice that looks. Now, of course, we need an envelope. So let's grab an envelope. Again, I've changed some things around here, so. I have to remember where I placed everything. I'm going to take the envelope. And we're going to grab a piece of designer series paper. Maybe a piece that I already have cut. There we go. And that matches that piece. We are going to flip that over. Glue that down. You could use either side, but I want to have it matching. So I'm going to add that to the lip of the envelope. I'm going to trim that off. Who wouldn't like to get this card in the mail, right? So definitely look this weekend for my next Fun Fold class online. And I'm just going to do it this way. You know what? I want it curled. So, nah, we'll do it this way. There we go. And now I have a matching envelope for this great fun fold. Ta-da! What do you think? So let me show you two others that I did with that. And this paper is the... Forever Love, and again, pulls out like that. Still shots will be on my blog and Facebook later today. 
And then I did one in the peacock, and I really like the way this one came out. I put the trees, my my huge thank you, I made um, a strip here that goes right over to the end, as you can see, but it's not glued down. And then when you pull that open, it looks like that. Okay, you wanna see some, some new product? Same card with the new, let me show you this, Spotlight on Nature. I got this at um, on stage for our on stage after hours. And I love the stamps, but I have to be honest, the reason I picked this set was, look at these dies. Of course, mine are messed up because I've been using them. Look at those dies, the circle dies. Now, the thing I like about these, this is the largest one with those little cutouts. And then you can layer them because the next size down is over here. And you can just keep layering those like that. Oops, this one. Or you can use different ones. I absolutely love these dies. So those are the circle dies that go with the Spot on Nature, and they are called Spot on Nature dies. So this is going to be in the new catalog, and let me show you the same card with this stamp set and those dies. You can see I fussy cut the um, butterfly, and you can see I used two different dies here. And there is... The Spotlight on Nature Fun Fold Card. A couple of other things. I did post these yesterday. These are the new in colors. And to showcase those, I'm using the same stamp set. Here we have Shy Shamrock. Let me bring it up closer. Shy Shamrock. Love this green. We needed a Irish green. We have Petal in Pink. Uh, pretty in Pink. And yes, it's the... Pretty in pink we used to have. I'm so glad they brought it back. Again, you can see the dyes. And this is Lemon Lolly. Then we have Peach Pie. I'm getting used to the names too. We have Petunia Pop. And then we have the summer one. I forgot the name of it. Sorry. <laughs> summer Shade, I think, maybe. Summer something. And that's pretty neat, too. So those are the new in colors showcased with the new dies. And, of course, this is our silver and white ribbon, which is carrying over. Yay! Let me show you, using that stamp set, we did three cards at on stage. This was no-line watering color, uh, water coloring. And we didn't put insides in those, so I'm going to do that now. This one... Um, Again, just color on color. And then we have this one. So these are ones that we did at on stage, and I want to add insides to those. So I'm going to grab some white here. One of them, yeah, this one. Okay. So this says, Dear Friend. I'm going to bring in those stamps. Move this out of the way. And just put some inserts in here. So this is a thank you. So I'm going to grab my, let's see, I don't have the new colors yet. So we're going to grab, doo, 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 doo. we're going to grab bubble bath, I think, for this. And I'm just going to add a butterfly in here for the inside of my card. I don't usually put anything on the inside because I like to stamp my own message. I'm going to do that. So now I have something I can write inside of. This one says, Dear Friend. I'm going to take that white. Again, This well, this one uh, is Calypso Coral we use. So let's grab, see if I have my Calypso Coral somewhere here. Doesn't look like I have it. It's probably over on the other table. So let's see what other color can I use. Mm. 
let's do, I'm just looking here. Let's do, all right, we'll do, well, you know what? Let me grab the Calypso Coral. I really want this to match. And it belongs on that table anyway. Hey, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't have to get up, right? Okay, I'm going to move that over here. Bring in the Calypso Coral. Dear friend. Let's see. Dear friend, thanks. Let's see, where's my thanks? Did I not take that one? Dear friend, where's my thanks? Oh, I know what I did. <laughs> A lot of times what I do is I double these up. If I don't have enough blocks, which I do have a lot of blocks, but sometimes I'm, I'll admit it, lazy. And then I'm going to grab this stamp, grab a piece of blotter paper, put that right there, and add that to the inside. Again, if you're a new customer, you need a catalog, contact me, Stampers Delight one at gmail.com or go to my website and leave me a message i'll get you out a new catalog as soon as i get them so there we have an inside for that one and this one says dear friend this is in black but there we're also using calypso coral so we're going to use calypso coral and this one i'm going to use that butterfly I'm going to go in with the Calypso Coral. Add that to finish off my cards. And now those are finished off. I can put those on my display board with the new stamp set. So let me bring in the cards again. This fun fold was with the Spot on Nature coming in May. And then, of course, these you can order now. This is the Encircled in Nature. I'd love to know which one you like the best. That could be your comment. To get a f something free let's see what we're going to give away free today too and again this could be a comment on facebook or youtube if i pick your name and you're not in the u.s please don't be offended we can't send those it's so expensive but i do appreciate you commenting so there is that one and then of course the in colors that I showed you. All this will be on my blog later today. All right, let me get up. Let me go over here and see what I'm going to give away free. I am just going to randomly pick something. All right, I got something right here I think you're going to like. Comment, subscribe, share, all those things get you in the drawing. And I am going to give away the Stripes and Splatter 3D embossing folder. Okay? And I will post who wins that. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And if you have any questions, just put it in the comment section. And I will definitely get back to you and answer you. Again, remember, if you need a new catalog and you've never ordered from me before, stampersdelight1 at gmail.com or go to my website and you can connect with me there. If you have ordered from me within the last three months, you will automatically get that catalog in the mail when they are available. Until next time, keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.